Hello and welcome back to Lifelong Fitness, where we help you navigate your 40s and beyond. I just wanted to share some thoughts on breaking the cycle, some perhaps ideas, some ways, some methods that you can use if you are finding yourself in that endless cycle of not exercising, not eating how you want, not doing the things that you want to do. Just here are a few, perhaps a few tips that you might, might use. Um, number one, or one of them, is try to identify the triggers that are stopping you from um, exercising, from eating right, from um, doing the things that you want to do. What are those things that are holding you back, those specific triggers? Because it's not everything, it's a few individual um, points. It might be one trigger that is causing or wreaking havoc with your motivation, with um, your desire to exercise. So um, try and do a, it's a tough one, but try and do a bit of an audit on yourself. Try and identify the triggers that are causing you to stay in that rut and make you feel how you're feeling currently if, if it's not how you do want to feel. Another point I would suggest is try and practice mindfulness. A lot of us um, get stuck in a rut. We uh, wake up, we do our day, we go to sleep, we wake up, we do our day, we go to sleep. We never actually take a moment to ourselves. We've got family, we've got children, we've got lots of other people depending on us, but we never actually step back out of our everyday life and actually identify and think about and um, be mindful about what we're doing and what is serving us, what isn't serving us. Obviously, there's uh, mindfulness is quite a big thing at the moment, meditation, mindfulness. But more than that, more than anything, just try and take a step back, think about what you're doing, think about what you can do to perhaps change that cycle. Uh, perhaps another idea is um, addition. A lot of people try and take things away when they're trying to get healthy, trying to um, change their life. Um, they take things away and they starve themselves. They um, get rid of their social life. They basically create an unachievable future. And so what we always try to coach our clients on suggest is add a habit to your life rather than taking away things from your life. When you add a good habit, it might be drinking a glass of water when you wake up, which just starts you on the role of being hydrated, meaning that you don't crave food, you don't crave salty foods, you don't crave um, alcohol even. Um, when you add something, it's a lot easier to achieve and it's um, psychologically, but also physically, we found it just creates a lot better um, habit mechanism, if that's a word, because you're, um, you're not associating um, getting healthy, being healthier with um, depriving yourself. You're actually thinking about adding good things to your life rather than taking away bad. Um, and then just another one I'll leave you with is um, try and find a community of like-minded people that are supporting you and helping you get to where you want to get to. So there is a, a saying um, that you're some of the five people you spend the most time with. Um, now, if all of those other four or five people are smoking, drinking out till all hours, that's going to be your life, right? Likewise, if those five people are um, going to a DVCC, supporting you, pushing themselves, pushing you, helping you um, take the next steps to uh, your goals, your targets, your, um, your healthy life, then they'll be there and they will support you. Um, and you're far more likely to achieve um, your goal. And it's one of the main um, benefits of DVCC is that we have a group of like-minded people all trying to achieve their own personal goals in a community that supports and helps them um, step by step. We pick people up, the community picks people up when they're feeling down, but also um, pushes them when they, when they need that push. So um, if you can't get to a DVCC, certainly find a community of people that are going to support what you're trying to achieve. Um, rather than hinder it. So number one is identify your triggers. And number two is try and practice some mindfulness in your day, um, whether that's one minute or 10 minutes. Um, number three, add a habit, not replace, add. Um, because what you find is when you add a habit gradually, without even realizing you uh, remove old habits without actually having to think about it. So um, rather than replace, let's add a habit, a good, healthy habit. And lastly, and importantly, um, enlist a friend or a, a community that will support what you're trying to achieve. 
Thank you so much once again for joining us on the Lifelong Fitness Podcast. Hopefully you found some value in today's episode. If you would like to continue the conversation, please do follow us on social media. We are Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, almost anywhere you can think of at the DVCC. Hope to see you there soon.